So I get a lot of messages from you guys asking for my advice and in particular advice about sex and relationships and this particular question is the one that I get the most and I really want to answer it because I feel like so many people don't look at it in such a rational perspective. They think about it in the time, they think about how they feel right now but they don't actually think about the long term consequences. So it's why you should never get back with a cheater. And I come from a perspective where I've been cheated on a lot and studied it. So hopefully this will actually be useful to you. So the reason why you can never get back with a cheater is that from that moment that that person and cheats and you know about it the dynamic of the relationship has changed completely so say he says he's really sorry or she says she's really sorry she loves you you go back to her thinking they've changed it was one mistake they've learned from it they may have learned from their mistake but the fact is that you won't trust them you will not trust them as much as you did before and that will put pressure on them because they will feel it and then there will be this little time period where they feel really bad and they want to make it up to you but then that will quickly wear off because it, your trust isn't going to regain as fast as their willingness to try and make you gain it. So there's going to be a point where they're like, oh my god, they're on my case all the time. Why don't they trust me? It was a one-time thing. They're going to get frustrated at you and you're going to get angry that they're frustrated at you and then it's going to make you trust them even less. Now once that has happened, they are going to get so angry that they may or may not and then it's a never ending cycle I just think that if you are in a relationship you are committed to that one person and there is no need to cheat you can go home and that person will be there you can go and you will have that person if it's a long distance thing then no you may not be at home but you have chosen to be in this relationship if you wanted it to be a long distance fling then make it a fling but don't be in a relationship with someone unless you intend to be with just that one person it doesn't make sense and it doesn't make it any better if you don't tell your partner that you haven't cheated this doesn't change the dynamic because you will still know in your head that you've done it and whether you feel bad about it or not you will still question whether they know and whether the tracks that you have led will actually find them to be fair and if you don't tell your partner then you are just a fucking cunt and and that is the end of it. If you don't tell the person that you obviously don't love them, don't stay with them because you think they might get mad and break up with you. You deserve to be broken up with because you cheated and you broke that trust. You can cover it up as much as you want. You can say, oh, but I really loved him. I was just drunk. Being drunk doesn't matter. Being on drugs doesn't matter. You can't justify it. You just can't. And there's no two ways about it, so you might as well just tell them. And nine times out of ten, they're just going to find out anyway, so you might as well just stop being a fucking coward and tell them. Girl, you got sass. Girl, you got bitch slapped. And if you get back with someone that has cheated and you know they've cheated and your excuse is well they said they still love me and but I really love them and it's just really hard no no because you are not respecting yourself if you go back to someone that has cheated on you they obviously don't respect you and they obviously don't love you if they have cheated on you you need to stop telling yourself that they do love you and that you are going to have a great relationship and this was just a minor lapse because it's not the fact is they wanted someone that wasn't you whether it meant anything or not it means that they don't love you as much as they say and it means you don't mean as much to them as you thought you did. And whether you go back to them and say, well, I'm not going to let them know that this is okay because it's not. It's like the fact that you've gone back to them is letting them know that it's okay. Whether you give them a hard time or not after you've been with them doesn't mean anything. Because if you give them a hard time, they're just going to get pissed off with you. And then, and then what's that going to lead to? You mistrusting them even more. It's not going to work. Just get out of there and just think, this was a chapter in my life. I have learned from it and I'm going to move on. And that's what you need to do. The one time that I did cheat, it, the cheating didn't mean anything, but it made me realise that I don't feel the same way about this person as I thought I did. And I'm in a way glad that it happened because it let me end that chapter of my life and stop kidding myself that this relationship was something that it wasn't and I really hope that you guys have learned from this because the amount of time that people ask me like oh my boyfriend has cheated on me but he says he loves me uh, am I right to go back or am I stupid you're not stupid you just haven't thought about the long-term consequences how will you feel about this person if he goes out with his mates or how will you feel if he just meets up with a girl are you gonna think that something's gonna happen you're not gonna trust them and it could be something completely platonic or it could be something more but you won't feel that way in your head and I'm sorry to put it so bluntly but that is how it is. So I hope that's helped and on the bright side at least if they don't love you I do. My name's Ali Bongo. Goodbye.